This is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we're going to take a look at some different Red Bulls, the coloured Red Bulls. It is a semi-early Saturday morning, and a couple of days ago I bought these rides here for 88 cents a pop, I think it was, plus 25 cents of bottle deposit. But I thought to myself, well, I've got all these different flavours of Red Bull that I've never tried before. Or did I? I think I had this and or this, but I'm not entirely sure, and this watermelon one. I never had the, the original watermelon one, the Red Bull. I only had the Aldi watermelon one, so yeah. But I, but I saw these reduced in price and I thought to myself, this would make for a decent video. Anyway, let us jump in with the white Red Bull. Oh, let us set aside the glass first right here. So uh, we've got cocoa and blueberry in flavour. That's going to be interesting. Um, I do know the white monster. That doesn't really taste all too different from the other stuff. But this right here seems to be completely different after all. This is the bottle deposit uh, logo indicator here in Germany. 25 cents of uh, single use. That's the bottle deposit thingy. And here we've got the nutrition table right here. Let us zoom out again and open up this lovely thing. I, I really do enjoy that sound when you pop these open. Oh, that's lovely. It um, looks very much like antifreeze. That's good. Okay, this is the Cocoa and Blueberry White Edition Red Bull. Colorwise, yeah, it, it, it's a mixture of, of antifreeze and Gatorade, I think, or Powerade. I'm not entirely sure what I'm talking about when it comes to these these strings, but it um, looks interesting. It does smell a bit like, like artificial blueberry. And you do also smell that particular cocoa scent. I did say cocoa, right? Is it cocoa for like, cocoa in chocolate cocoa, or is it cocoa for cocoa in coconut? I mean, I mean coconut. It's a bit confusing, because in, in German, chocolate is like cocoa stuff is cacao, and coconut is cocos. So, yeah, please excuse that. I think you, you, you read that yourself and thought, well, something doesn't work out here. Um, yeah, it, it has got a, a nice artificial coconut scent and a nice artificial blueberry scent. Um, this looks... <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna taste it though. Now, taste-wise, I've got to say that this is a bit of a disappointment. Um, it doesn't have any any even remotely natural, f you know, tasting flavors in it. It feels just like very much like a a Red Bull or Monster knockoff with the different flavor that they usually do not carry, which is interesting. I thought this was this was this was better than the knockoffs, but yeah, it, it doesn't really taste like like a brand product. It tastes like something that you buy for twenty five cents plus bottle or, or can deposit and um, you, well, enjoy it for what it is. You at least didn't pay for a brand price for it. But here, that, that coconut flavor, yeah, it feels kind of artificial. That blueberry flavor, even more artificial. Uh, color-wise, I think it's, yeah, it's fine. It's one of these energy drinks, so what do you expect? But overall, no. Not all that great. So let's go for the tropical, the yellow edition tropical energy drink. Um, yeah, something's written on the back. That's good. And pause if you want to read the nutrition table right here. Anything else that is interesting? What does that mean? Is that the the series number? I don't know. Let's open up this thing. Tropical. Okay, this does smell a little bit better. It looks kind of red-ish. That's, uh... Oh no, it wasn't red-ish at all. That was just me looking all the way down the can and it looks kind of orange-ish. Maybe you can see it right there. But it's yellow. It's actually... Now what does this look like? Does it remind you of something? It's piss yellow. <laughs> actually piss yellow. Oh, great. Great. Absolutely beautiful. Is there any flavor that this has, that this is supposed to resemble? I do not think there is, right? So we've got 
all sorts of sugar, some acidifiers, carbonic acid, taurine, caffeine, blah, 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 no, 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 no. I don't think there is anything that this is supposed to be tasting of, uh, other than tropical piss, I guess. It does smell a lot nicer though than this one here. It doesn't smell as artificial, it actually smells like like something that you would want to drink. But it's difficult to pin down what it really is. It's um, maybe a bit of maracuya. I'm pretty sure that this is not the word that it, uh, is called in English, but yeah, a bit like that. Not really peach, but, but something, something goes down that route. But maracuya is, is definitely what I think about when I when I smell this. It smells very much like maracuya yogurt. Interestingly, taste-wise, it's um, uneventful at best. It it really doesn't taste of much. It just again it tastes like like a knockoff energy drink. Um, it's it's kind of bland, a bit sugary, not too sugary though, and overall just. It just tastes synthetic, synthetic and cheap, and uh, it it does smell nicer than it tastes, that's for sure. But you've got a certain like maracuya scent, and you expect a certain flavor from that, and maybe there is some sort of flavor like that in here. But uh, overall, it just tastes like I don't know, like a cheap knockoff, quite synthetic, and not very enjoyable at all. Okay, let's go for the Red Bull Blue Edition. This is one of the best looking cans, I think. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Toro Rosso from uh, 2020. No, 2019, I would say. 2019, yeah. The jackets looked a lot like that. So this is Blueberry. Let us zoom in on the... on, on what is written up here, I would say. Um, all sorts of lovely stuff. Pause if you want to read the nutrition table right here. Let's see what this smells like. First look wise, um, not much. Oh, that is that is interesting. This actually smells like blueberries. Who, who, who would have thought of that? Who would have thought that it would smell like blueberries? Now that being said, like the first two ones, did smell of something, but this right here actually, actually smells a lot more natural than the previous ones did. All right, so good so far, so far so good I should say. Uh, it's quite purple for blueberry. Uh, that being said, when you eat like blueberries, right, they're kind of reddish, but they don't look like violet ish like this because the color itself isn't really blue on the inside it's just red ish so a bit like now what i'm what am i talking about i don't even know what i'm talking about maybe i i confused them with plums right now anyway this right here looks a lot more like the purple one but we still have <laughs> that one uh, left to open so uh, smell wise yeah it smells like blueberries let's see what it tastes like interestingly this is the best one we had so far out of these five, um, or of the, out of these three that have already opened. It does taste, uh, not not strongly of blueberry, but it doesn't taste uh, disgustingly artificial like the previous two did, especially this one. This one was slightly better, but this one, nah. Um, it, it rolls off the tongue a lot better. Uh, it's not quite as sweet, at least it doesn't taste quite as sweet. Uh, in the beginning. The carbonation is not as strong, it seems. A lot softer, a lot more pearly. And there is a certain watered down flavor of blueberry. Yeah, it doesn't taste natural. It, it just tastes less artificial than these two. All right, let's go for the red one, which would be the watermelon one. I uh, said previously that I did have a watermelon energy drink from Aldi. It was their own brand. And that one wasn't as nice as I thought it would be. I do like watermelon, but uh, usually these ones do not turn out all that well. I can see on the camera right now, it doesn't really show up all too well. I hope you can still read what you want to read. Pause if you want to read this. 
zoom that again. Can't really see much here. It does very much uh, smell like synthetic watermelon. Yes, very much like synthetic watermelon. Um, maybe you do know these Haribo watermelon gummies. It uh, smells very much like them. But now that I've opened up the can and waited for about 20 seconds, it always it already seems to lose its scent. Yeah, it's getting more faint. Color-wise, this does look good though. Quite pretty. Nice and red. Yeah, looks alright. And when you when you actually smell it from that glass, it smells a lot like the watermelon five gum chewing gum. It has got that exact same scent. Taste wise, um, just as number one and number two, it remains disappointing. There isn't too much taste in it. Um, you do taste a bit of synthetic watermelon right away, but that fades incredibly quickly, and it leaves you with this sort of it is weird to describe the sort of faint synthetic aftertaste of watermelon. It's not really watermelon. It's it's just that that the flavor is gone and and you're left with whatever carried that flavor in the first place. Uh, it's weird, but it doesn't taste nice. Quite quite synthetic, um, and that initial watermelon flavor is gone quite quickly. Uh, a bit disappointing, I've got to say. Something uh, that was quite positive about it though, is uh, that it does smell like five gum watermelon chewing gum, which is always nice because that stuff does smell nice. All right, let's go for the last one right here, the Red Bull purple, purple edition. Got the Akai, or is it called Achai, or Achai, or Akai. I'm not entirely sure what this is called. Uh, we're going to zoom in on what's, what's written on the back right here. All right, all sorts of stuff again written on the back right here. Uh, overall, it's looking good though. Pause if you want to read the nutrition table right here. And um, didn't show you the best bite at the bottom on the previous ones. <laughs> Let's open up this one. I, I, I do not know what this is. I do not think I've ever bought a fruit like that and ate it. So, yeah. Not entirely sure what is waiting for me. It does smell like a really weird, like, like almost chewing gum flavor. It's weird to describe, but it does smell like a chewing gum flavor. Like, like a chewing gum flavor that I did not have before, which is interesting. I've got a bit of watermelon flavored water stuff left. Lovely. And this right here, yeah. Looks wise, um, it does come close to the red one. Not quite though. It's like the red one with a slight bit of uh, blue edition. And it's weird to describe the, the scent of this because I do not have the actual fruit. Or I do not know, may maybe this isn't even a fruit, maybe it's just something they made up and, and sell as a tropical fruit or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> and that's an exaggeration because I I've got no idea. <laughs> but uh, yeah, smell-wise, it, it smells kind of weird. It smells a bit of, of like a like a perfume thingy that you hang in your car down in the mirror, something like that. It doesn't smell like something you'd eat, which is interesting. Flavor-wise, um, a bit of acidity to it and then a bit of that, that smell as a flavor. It does taste a bit like a bit of strawberry maybe, a slight bit in the aftertaste, but but what's the initial taste of this? I, I, I can't say what this is supposed to, I guess it's supposed to taste of a, a kai, but I don't know. Never had a kai. All right. Yeah. The uh, last sip of this did not change anything. <laughs> it, 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 this one here is kind of weird as well. Um, it smells of these these little perfumed trees that some people hang in their cars. 
when the cows do not smell all too well. Uh, yeah, it very much smells like that. And it doesn't really induce any sort of appetite or thirst for this for me. But uh, I tried it nonetheless and yeah, it, it, it tasted a bit like it, it smelled, which is interesting. Slightly acidic aftertaste. Um, maybe they, they engineered some sort of flavor out of like strawberry flavor or something like that. This is what this kind of tasted like in the aftertaste, but I'm not entirely sure what it really is supposed to be. So let's do the rundown. Um, coconut and blueberry. Uh, I mislabeled that as cocoa and blueberry at the very start, which is unfortunate. That's a, that's a no-no. Um, very artificially smelling. Although not right now, it's it's more the more the taste. Now that I smelled some of these other ones, this one right here, in terms of smell, it isn't really all too bad. But taste-wise, yeah, very artificial. The blue color is interesting, but it does look an awful lot like antifreeze. Um, taste-wise, though, this is just it just tastes too artificial. Very unfortunate. The tropical one uh, smells all right. Smells of maracuya. Uh, looks like piss and tastes like. I don't know, very artificial, tropical flavor mixes. Not recommendable either. This is actually the best one of the out of these, out of these five that I've that I've tried right now. Uh, the Red Bull Blue Edition, the blueberry one. Um, color-wise, it looks quite all right. Taste-wise, it is. It's not great. It's not even good. But it's the best out of these because it is the least uh, awfully synthetically tasting one. It smells of blueberries, it uh, tastes a bit of blueberries. Yeah, it still does taste of blueberries, which is nice. Uh, it reminds me of, of blueberry cake actually, which is good. But um, yeah, not great. It's just that this is uh, the best of these because the others right here are kind of bad. <laughs> The watermelon one tasted uh, very much like the, the cheap Aldi one that I've had, I think, one or two years ago. Doesn't really taste of watermelon all too much. It uh, does smell like the five gum watermelon chewing gum. But taste-wise, the initial taste is, is gone almost instantly and it leaves you with a certain synthetic aftertaste that's uh, not all too pleasant. And the achai thingy smells like, like a scent tree in your car. And um, maybe it, it tastes like one as well. I've never tried these though, so um, yeah, I'm not too sure what to say about that. If I were to rate these out of 10, I think this is a bit too much, but out of 5, this would get a 1.5 out of 5, this would get a 2 out of 5, this would get a, a 3.5 out of 5, this would get a 1 out of 5, and this one get a would get a 1.5 out of 5 as well. Probably should, you know, deduct a point uh, of all of these uh, if I were to be completely honest when it comes to the feeling that I have. But something inside of me tells me right now that I'm a bit too salty about these uh, because of, yeah, I'm, I'm quite disappointed and uh, I'm happy that I bought uh, this this artificially flavored sugar water for only 88 cents per can and not the full price. I feel a bit less cheated over my money right now. Anyway. If you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, bye bye.